Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and I recently did a video on things women do when they're not interested, so I thought it would be helpful to take a look at the flip side here and share with you some things women do when they are interested. From a woman's perspective here, which I think could be really helpful. There are so many things that can be misinterpreted. Example, just because she touches her hair does not automatically mean that she likes you. FYI. It can be a good body language sign, but it's not a for sure. So we have to make sure we leave room for nuance. Dating and attraction can be really unpredictable because we're all different. But overall, I think the things I'm going to talk about today are pretty straightforward. And honestly, if you're still unsure, I think the best thing to do, in my personal opinion, is just ask directly so that you don't make incorrect assumptions. I also want to point out that I'm not a fan of reading into these like minuscule signs that someone might be sending you. We aren't mind readers. We're not supposed to be. And I believe as grown adults, it's our responsibility to communicate our feelings and interest or lack thereof. Just something to keep in mind going forward. The first thing here is that she makes herself available and she follows through. I think how available a woman makes herself to you in terms of making plans, talking to you, hanging out with you, is a great indication of interest. If a woman is consistently communicating with you and following through with those plans that you've made, she wants to get to know you and is interested enough to make commitments and follow through with them. I think her words and her actions matching are huge here. She's not being wishy-washy. She's not saying, oh, I'm too busy. She's not making excuse after excuse. She's making an effort to commit to a plan plan with you and stick to it. Another telling factor here that I mentioned briefly is that her actions match her words. When a woman's actions consistently align with her words, it often indicates that she's genuine and sincere in her feelings towards you. It shows that she's reliable, that she's trustworthy, and likely interested in building a meaningful connection with you. I think consistency between words and actions can be a really strong indicator of someone's true feelings and intentions. And not to mention, this is also just a total green flag. So to wrap this one up, if she's making herself available and committing to the plans that she makes with you, her words and her actions match, these are a really great indication of her interest towards you. The next thing is that she seeks clarity around relationship status. So a woman seeking clarity around the relationship status can often suggest that she values clear communication and wants to understand where she stands with you. This can indicate that she's interested in defining the relationship and ensuring that both of you are on the same page. I think seeking clarity shows a level of investment and interest in moving the relationship forward or understanding its sort of potential. If she's asking you anything related to this, it's more likely than not a way of saying that she's interested um, in sort of a roundabout way unless she has explicitly stated otherwise. If she has set really clear boundaries with you and said things like, I'm not ready for a relationship or I only see you as a friend or I don't see you romantically, that is sort of the flip side of this and not a sign that she's interested. But some positive examples of what I mean by seeking clarity around the relationship status are asking direct questions about the nature of your relationship, initiating a conversation about where the relationship is heading, expressing a desire to define the relationship and to understand each other's expectations before moving forward, maybe requesting a discussion about exclusivity or commitment, maybe she's seeking to establish boundaries or understand the level of emotional investment from you. Again, there could be many different ways that this is expressed, but I think if it's expressed in a positive way, this is a great indication of her interest. The next one is that she wants to go on more dates with you. She accepts a second, third, fourth date. I know this one seems pretty obvious, but that's kind of the point here for this video. If you go on a first date and it went really well and you ask her out again and she accepts and again follows through, she's into you. She probably would not go out with you again if she wasn't. When a woman accepts a second or third and beyond date, it typically indicates that she's interested in getting to know you better. Accepting more dates suggests that she enjoyed the first one and is open to exploring a potential romantic connection with you. Now, this doesn't always mean things are going to automatically turn into a full-blown relationship or that she's going to really like you. I'm sure most of you are aware of that, but at a minimum, it does in fact show a level of interest and willingness to invest more time in getting to know you and a chance to see where things go and how things unfold. Fold. So good indication of interest in my opinion. The next one is that the date is extended. Extending a date or spending more time with you than maybe you originally planned. Note that I'm not talking about things that are out of your control, like the service at the restaurant is really slow, so you're there longer. I'm referring to things that are in both of your control and you willingly being there. This is a great indication of her level of interest because if she wasn't interested, she would have cut the date short or left when she was supposed to. If a date is extended, it often indicates that she's enjoying your company and wants to spend 
more time with you. Extending a date can suggest that she is having a really good time, she feels comfortable with you, and is interested in deepening your connection. It can be a really positive sign that she is interested and wants to continue the interaction. Again, as I mentioned in the last point, at a minimum here, it shows a level of interest and willingness to invest more time in getting to know you. Not to mention this sort of travel date where you extend it or go somewhere else is exciting and it's fun. Moving spots can feel spontaneous and help to build a connection. My husband and I actually did this on our first date and I loved every second of it. So maybe you were supposed to meet up for a quick coffee date and it turned into three hours of you guys talking. Maybe you went out for brunch and then ended up doing something else afterwards that you didn't originally plan. Um, I think if that date is extended past what you guys had established prior or you guys move spots and do something together spontaneously spontaneously, this is normally a really good indication of her interest in you. The next sign of interest is that she responds positively to your flirting. The way that a woman reacts and responds to your actions and words can be incredibly telling. Now, everyone is different and communication styles do vary, so interpreting her responses accurately requires paying attention to her cues and respecting her boundaries. So, important thing to note here. You know, if she pulls away when you touch her, if she's trying to exit the conversation and quickly move on, if she seems very distracted and not really paying attention to you, maybe you lean in closer and she moves away, these are all very clear signs that she's not interested and if you weren't aware of that now you know I do think it is important to try your best to read the room and understand the body language that she is displaying again body language is not always a 100% correct indication of interest because we're all different some of us are more timid and shy or just don't really like physical affection or touch or things like that so I think knowing that can be helpful but a positive response to flirting at least usually means that she's open to the interaction and may have some level of interest in you Positive responses could include smiling, laughing at your jokes, engaging in conversation, reciprocating that flirting, showing signs of enjoyment, etc. I've actually done a video on how to tell if a woman is flirting with you, so I'll link that below. So a woman responding positively towards you and your actions and also reciprocating it herself often shows interest. Again, not always, but a lot of the time it does. I would say this point is a little bit less for sure than the rest of the ones I have on my list today, but I wanted to include it just to make sure that you guys are aware of body language and reading the room and really just do your best to gauge how things are going through her responses to you and if she's flirting with you or not. And the last one here is that she tells you directly. Being completely transparent, the only true way to know for sure if a woman is interested is if she tells you that she is, right? The problem here though is that women typically are not as direct as men are and usually opt for more indirect forms of communication, which is why I think it can be helpful to know the other things on my list today as well. A woman telling you directly that she's interested in you is best case scenario since it eliminates any sort of confusion or deciphering hints or any of that kind of stuff. Communication and clarity are so important and I would encourage both men and women to prioritize this. So let me know down in the comments, how have you been able to tell in the past when someone has been interested in you? What are some things that you've maybe misread as interest when it was not interest at all? I think this could be really helpful for some other guys to know, but I also wanna reiterate here, everyone is different and it's important to remember that when you're dating. This is why I really believe that clarity and effective communication are crucial. So if you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.